questions. I believe he is quite sane, just evil. He takes no interest in the people he has hurt. His research appears to be the only motivating factor in his life. What is it about fear that drives your obsession? Fear drives everything, Stephen. Everything. Your life is governed by fear. Every decision you make is a product of that fear. Don't be ridiculous. You married your wife. Margaret, isn't it? Because you were scared of dying alone. You have children because you're scared of leaving nothing behind that really matters. You go to the doctors because you're scared of dying. Do I need to go on? No. I think that will be all for today. Guards? Batman? Understandable. You're no match for me. Today I have another interview with Crane. I cannot say I am looking forward to it. I have been feeling anxious. I don't like to admit it, but... I think he's getting to me. How are you today? I keep telling you, this is my session. It was your session, Doctor. But not anymore. Are you okay, Doc? I, I think... Uh, yes, I... Oh, he's fine. Just questioning his grip on reality. You should be doing the same any second. Mom? Is that you? Wait, what are you doing? Get off of me. of my challenges? This can't be right. Curse me for a fool. How could I not see it until now? The monster had a confederate. I hid in the darkness near his cell and saw with my own eyes one of the doctors whispering to him. She looked at him through the transparent barrier with tenderness, with, dare I say, desire. My skin crawled with revulsion, 
as she kissed the glass. Fighting the urge to dash the woman's head through the glass, I let her continue. The damnable clown might have shared secrets with her that would be useful once the mad dog has been executed. I'm sure the woman will reveal what she knows to me. If not willingly, then certainly under electronic persuasion. After that, a lobotomy, I think. Unfortunate for one so young. But her lust has put the reputation of Arkham at stake. Yes, a lobotomy. The very thing. There is no other way to ensure her silence in this regrettable matter. Something you said in our last conversation. Ask me anything you like. 
You said your first offer to help Gotham was rejected. How can you possibly believe that? Well, what do you mean? You released thousands of poisonous spores into Gotham, killed hundreds of people. How does that help anybody? I'm not interested in bodies, Doctor. Horrible, fleshy sacks walking around destroying my poor babies with their greed and arrogance. But aren't you one of those fleshy sacks? You're a... were a doctor, too. How can you turn your back on us? Quite easily, as it happens. But not you, Stephen. You're different. I feel we have a connection. Really? You do? Of course. dead. Joker was busy while I fought his monsters. He'll pay for this. Pamela, I got you what you asked for. Do you like it? Oh yes, Stephen, I love it. Such a beautiful flower. Do you mind if I keep it? Oh no, Pamela, I can't leave it. It's against all the rules. I'll just bring it and show it to you when I visit. But it's me, Stephen. I get so lonely on my own. You wouldn't want me to be lonely, would you? No, of course not. Keep it. Just don't let anyone see. Really, no one. You can trust me, Stephen. Thank you. Now give me a kiss. Uh, I can't. People will see. No one's watching. What's wrong with you? Don't you love me? Call me Ivy. Of course I love you. Can you defeat a mind such as mine? Yet again, I found myself watching him. No one can provide a cure. He laughs in the face of those who try. Amadeus would not have let him live, and neither should I. One last sip of cognac, and I was ready. Him, or 
Whatever it is you do, we know it took you somewhere. But conveniently, security cameras across the island were mysteriously covered by leaves and flowers at 3 a.m. Now tell me what it is. I'm not saying a word unless you do exactly what I tell you. He watched as I entered the cell. He smiled as I showed him the knife. I told him how I will use it. How I will cleanse this city. And then... Terror. I was paralyzed. I struggled. I screamed. But I was silent. The monster looked at me, expressionless. He ran my blade slowly across my forehead. A smile cracked across his horrible porcelain face, and I heard the filth fall from his mouth. He laughed and called me that horrible name. he travels underfoot. The spores he breathes in and destroys have children. Why does he deserve anything more than them? You people ignore what is happening in front of your eyes. I refuse to put the welfare of plants before the welfare of people. And that is why you will lose. There's more happening than you know, Warden. It's all connected. 